welcome to my playthrough of Carcosa. Now, I just want to explain a few caveats before I start. I made a few mistakes. I mean, I got the rules pretty much correct, but in the middle of the video, you'll see it all goes a little bit wrong. And I try and put it right. And I think for the most part, I do. So, by all means, don't let this spoil your enjoyment, but I just want to let you know that, yeah, it gets a little bit hairy in the middle and maybe it's a little bit confusing. I'll leave some notations at the bottom to try and put right what I did wrong. But we got there in the end. So anyway, just wanted to say that before you start. If you decide you don't want to watch because of that, that's up to you and you know I won't blame you for that. So thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you on the next video. Bye for now. Hi and welcome to my solo playthrough of Carcosa, the board game by One Free Elephant. This was on Kickstarter last year. I'm not sure if it's going to be available for retail, but uh, I guess you can check that yourself. Okay, setup. The first thing we need to do is we shuffle the tiles, put them into six equal stacks, and we remove two stacks randomly. I'll remove these two. You can put these to the side because these won't be in this game. The four stacks remaining, you place on the board like this, with the unstable side facing upwards. Our cultists are set up the same as a normal two-player game. Basically, we have three lying down in the middle of the yellow sign. We have our prophet standing up here, ready to be deployed. We have one person lying down in our asylum and one person standing up in our recovery room. In addition to that, we have our three cultists in our ready pool, ready to be deployed. And we place one on the power track just to be used as the oracle to track our power. No game will be uh, complete without some protagonists, as this is a solo game. The protagonists are sort of AI, if you like. And we have three sets. These are used by basically taking the remaining cultist colors and taking the profit from the blue, a normal one from the blue, five normal from the purple, and four from the brown. You can use any combination of colors, it's up to you. But this is the one that's just recommended in the solo rules, so that's what I've used. And they are deployed like this. The blue is called the scholar and his assistant. This is the scholar, this is the profit from the, from the blue set, and the normal one for the assistant. The scholar you can just place at the side of the board. The assistant will be placed on the power track in the end position and he will travel around in an anti-clockwise direction. The five purple are the occultists. These get placed onto the map, sorry not the map, the board, in all the chalk positions that are just a single uh, stroke, like a, a one or an eye if you like. So we'll just put those there and there's five positions for that. Finally, the brown, in my case, are the detectives. These get placed onto the board in the chalk marks where there is an X. So there's four positions for that, so we'll place them just there. Now at present, none of these are deployed. So basically what happens is, as our oracle moves around the track, anytime he passes a cultist or a detective, they get deployed, and we'll see that later on. And if the assistant, uh, if he passes a cultist, then it gets deployed. If he passes a detective, then nothing happens. And finally, we have the beginnings of the map. This is set up as normal, as you would do in a normal game. Basically, you take the four that have the pattern on the back and you place them there, uh, making sure they uh, adhere to the rules of tile placement. And this section is called Hasta. Obviously, the rest of the map will be uh, Carcosa itself. Just to recap. There are three ways we can lose this game. The first way is that if the scholar, or more accurately, his assistant, makes one full uh, circuit of the board. That way, we lose. The second way is if the occultists, which are the purple um, meeples, if they occupy all the districts of Hasta, which is basically this is Hasta, which is the beginning four tiles of the map. 
So if they occupy all four districts of Hasta, then we also lose. Thirdly, this is tied to the, detec the, de the detectives. If our court consists of less than three courtists, so we ignore the ones in the middle, basically we're starting with three in our ready uh, pool, and we have two in our asylum slash recovery room. So at the moment we've got five. So if we get down to less than three, then we lose. Now, how do we win? We win by depleting and resolving any two stacks. So we have to basically exhaust two full stacks and resolve the tiles on the map. The second way is by our oracle. He will make a full circuit of the board, hopefully, in the opposite direction to the assistant. And when he gets to the end, then we can no longer gain or lose power. What happens is every time one of our cultists is driven insane, then we place him in the center, ignore these ones, we place him in the center, we stand him up, and if we get three standing up in the center, in the other side, then we win. So hopefully that's clear, and we will be back to begin the playthrough. So here we are at the table, ready to begin play. First thing we do, as we do on every turn, is bring our cultist who is in the recovery room, we bring him into our ready pool, done. Uh, we take our, oops, sorry, this guy should be there. We take our cultist who is in the asylum and we stand him up and bring him into our recovery room. Or, yeah, recovery room. And now we get to the meat of the game, which is tile laying and placement of our cultists. The first thing we will do is we will take this tile here. We'll place our profit on top of the stack. And let's have a look what this is. We can look at both sides, but once we've looked, we have to place it. Uh, yeah. I thought there might be a theatre on there, but there isn't. But we're going to place that, I think, we're going to place it here. And now we're going to take one of our cultists and we're going to put him on there to control that area. We're also at the same time going to utilise this ritual stone, which is imbued already. And this one allows us, if you look at the card here, if you can see, number three, deploy another cultist. So we'll do that. So. This one is done. We'll flip it over to say we've used it. And we'll deploy another cultist and we'll put him just to secure or to control this area here. Okay, detectives cannot do anything because none of them are deployed. So we move into the scholar phase. The scholar is here and he will pick the one with the, the tile stack with the highest number of squares on it or the tile rather, with the highest number of squares. And in that case, or in this case, it's this one here, which has a, if you can see that, yes, it has five squares, three of which are blacked out, which denote that this has a research value of three. So that gets discarded, and the assistant moves along three spaces. One, two, three. So, next round. We get to choose another tile, I think, Mm, there's no districts, which was what I was hoping for. So I think what we'll do is we will take this one, this ley line here, and we will take that one, we will place it here, and we'll deploy a cultist on there just to take control of it. No detectives, so we go straight to the scholar. The scholar will go, he's got no choice, he has to go for this one, which is one that we actually wanted, but he gets it. So it's got a research value of three, gets discarded, and the assistant moves one, two, three, which means this occultist gets deployed onto the map. He will get deployed in the largest uncontrolled area. Uh, largest uncontrolled incomplete area. So, well, these are the largest areas, but we've got those both controlled. So, and this one, this is controlled. So the only remaining ones just have a one tile size area. So we will put him on this one here, out the way. Okay, done. And ah, what we should have done last time, I apologize. I forgot to move this guy. He should have gone into our ready pool. Apologize for that. So, this is our turn now. Nothing in our uh, recovery room, nothing in our asylum whatsoever. So we just go straight ahead to picking tiles. Uh, 
well, not still not what we wanted. So I guess we will take this, no, we will take this one here, put our profit on there, and we will make that lay line a little bit bigger. No detectives. Oh, we're not going to, uh, are we going to place a, no, we can't place any cultists because we've already got control of this one. So we can't place a cultist. So no detectives and straight on to the scholar. The scholar will take, unfortunately, he's taking all the tiles that we want. So he will take this one. There's a research value of two. One, two. Remember, the assistant doesn't actually activate the detective, so we're okay there. Uh, that's the end of that round. On to the next round. Mm. Okay, well, I think... I think we're going to take this one. So we're going to move to there. We're going to take this one. Is there anything on the back? No, but it has got a, uh, a conflux on it. So we know that's going to be the end of that ley line. So we will place that one... Uh, we'll place it here. I think. So we'll place that one there. And that is the end of our turn. We can, well actually we can place one of our cultists on there. Shall we place one on there? I think we will. I think we'll place him on this ley line here. Okay. So no detective still. So scholar. Scholar is gonna go and steal the tile that we want again. And it's got a research value of, where, where are we there? It's got a research value of two. So one, two, remember he doesn't activate the detectives, the assistant. So it comes around to our turn again. Hmm. I think, well, we better take this one here because this has a high research value. So we'll take this one. And we can actually place it. No, I'd like to place it there, but we can't because of the ley lines. Uh, I guess we. Oh. I think we'll place that one here. I think. Okay, we can't place. Ah, oh, we can. I think we'll. Take our last cultist and we'll place him on this district here. Take control of that. Okay, so no detectives still. So on to the scholar. The scholar's going to take, he's <laughs> just constantly taking the tiles we want. He's going to take this one here. Research value of three. One, two, three. Okay, on to our turn again. Is there anything? No, no flipping, no districts we can use. Maybe we should start trying to get, just keep bouncing between these tiles, trying to uh, deplete these. Um, I think we're going to go, sorry, that's not all, that's us. We're going to go to there. We're going to go to there. And we're going to place this one, I think. We're going to place it here. Okay, we haven't got any cultists uh, left to, <clears throat> excuse me, we haven't got any cultists left to deploy, so no detectives. So, on to the scholar. The scholar has a choice of a one or a one. This one's got more tiles removed from it already, so let's take off that one. Research value of one. He moves into the cultist, the occultist space, not the cultist, the occultist space. So he gets deployed. Um, well, these are the biggest ones, but we've already got control of those. So the next biggest one would be, I don't think there are, oh, will be this one here, this ley line. So we'll put it on that ley line there. Uh, right, the problem there is now that. Let's just make sure there's nowhere else we can put him. Because we put him here, both of these guys go insane. Is there anywhere else we can put him? Yes, we can. We will put him here. 
Yes, definitely. We'll put him here because we don't want this guy to go insane because we want control of this. Okay, that's the end of that turn. So it's back to our turn again now. Okay, we will take this tile here. What's on the back of it? Oh, you shit. Okay, that's bad news. Bad news. I think, as I recall from the rules, if you look at the back side of the tile, then you have to take it. So basically, we'll place that there. Okay. Uh, that means that this is now complete. So we do take the, the points for that. So that district consists of three separate parts. One, two, three. Two points per part. So we get six points. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This cultist, occultist, occultist, not cultist, occultist. This one gets deployed. Now, where can we deploy him? We can actually deploy him here. Actually, what we'll do first, we will just uh, flip this one over. And let me just check the rules for this uh, feaster. Okay, so I'll just check the rules there. Uh, we do get the six points as far as I'm aware. So let's do that now. Yeah, we've done that. Sorry, apologize. Um, and the feaster appears. We've got these handy dandy little things that came with the, uh, the Kickstarter to represent a feaster. Now we didn't have a cultist on the ritual site there so we don't actually gain anything from that or lose anything. What does happen is first uh, this guy completed the district so he will go insane, he'll go into our chapter house asylum uh, and of course we activated the cultist. Now where is he going to go? He will go, the only place he can go I believe, oh he could go here uh, I think we will put him here. Okay, I believe that's correct. So, now it's the detective's turn. No detective deployed, as I've said. So, it's the scholar. The scholar is going to go to this one here. It has a research value of 2. Assistant moves one, two, uh, and it's back to our turn again. What we will do is we will use uh, our, another one of our ritual stones. We'll uh, use that to bring one of our cultists back into our ready pool, or all of our cultists. We've only got one, so we'll do that now. So that one's used. Bring it back into our ready pool now. It's our turn, what are we going to do? Okay, we are going to take this tile here and we are going to put it, I believe, there. Okay, so what we'll also do is we will take this cultist that we've just cured and we're gonna lay him down on the track here in wait for the assistant when he comes around. That's the end of our turn, move to the detectives, no detectives as usual, so we go to the scholar. Now, the scholar is going to take this one, put him there, and it has a research value of three. Three. One, two, three, I guess that puts him on the same space as the detective, but as we know he doesn't actually activate the detective. Uh, now, back to our turn again. We've got no cultists in our ready pool. We haven't got many points. We need to find some. What are we going to do? Um, I guess we will try. Uh, fortunately, that's the one we want, but we can't use it. So we will just take this one. No, we'll take this one here because let's get through this tile stack. So that's what we've got, another ley line. And we will place it, I think, here. Okay, no detective still. Scholar, 
scholar is going to go to here. Research value of two. One, two. Flipping out, he's going to get around that track before we've got a chance to do anything. Uh, back to our turn. Come on, come on, come on. Well, I think we need to take this one here. Let me just have a quick look. I'll just put one of these on there to remember which one I took it from. How is that going to help us? That could help us there. Could help us there. Hmm. But we're still going to need one there. So I think we will place this one. What's on the back? We've looked at it now. So, okay. So we will place it there or there. I think we will place it no. Sorry about this. I'm just trying to figure out the best place for it. I'm going to place it there. Okay. Continue. We can't place anything else on there. We haven't got anything else to do, so it moves on to the scholar phase because detectives are still not activated. Scholar will go. Well, oh, sorry. Let's just move our guy to here. <laughs> Remember, scholar's going to go for this one because it's got a research value of three. The other one's only got a research value of one. So he's going to take this one, discard that. Oh, lost that. Put him on there. Come on, stand up, boy. And he's going to go there. Research value of three. One, two, three. Another occultist is going to get deployed. Where is he going to get deployed? I think he will have to go in the only place is... That's what I'm looking. I don't know why I'm looking there. There's nothing there. Sorry about that. He's going to have to go here. Yes. Okay, back to our turn again. What are we going to take? Can we take that one there? Is that going to work? I think we can. I think we'll take this one here. And if we put it there... Yeah. Yeah, we'll put that there. And we just need one more to complete this district. Okay. So, that's our turnover. No detectives. On to the scholar. Scholar clearly is going to take this one here. Has a research value of... Three, can you see that? Yeah, come on, focus. Research value of three. And we'll go one, two, three. He's almost halfway around the track now. Uh, okay, back to our turn. What can we do? Ah, now, I think we can complete a ley line here. Well, we're going to risk it. I'm going to take this one and put it there. This one here, what's on the back? Unfortunately, nothing much apart from a ritual site. So, let's see what we've got there. So, we've got a ley line of one, two, three, four, five. Five. So, that means we can actually imbue one of our stones i think let me just have a look at this for a second okay what we're going to do we're going to take this one number five okay this allows us in the normal game we'd be able to stun an enemy prophet what it means in this one is that we can actually if i just double check yes it means we're allowed to move the scholar uh, sorry, the assistant back to the last X space it passed, which would be this one. So, what did we do? I've forgotten already. Yes, we completed that ley line. So, we take 
the stone that's imbued let's put that there so we can see it okay and we flip all these over because this one now is done okay now this one is complete we don't get any points for it because it's not an empowered conflux but this poor little guy here does actually go insane and we'll place him in our asylum okay that's actually a ritual site which has been uh, resolved um, I should have probably done this before when I resolved this one I forgot so apologies for that but basically what I have to do now is, it says in the rules, after a ritual site resolves, move the occultist closest to the assistant to a district of Hasta that is not currently occupied by an occultist. That would be this fella here. So I need to move into a district that is currently not occupied by a, another what does it say? That is not currently occupied by an occultist. So we will move him to here. I probably should have done that before. Apologies for that. But um, like I said, I will make some mistakes. But anyway, at least you're seeing how the game's played. Badly, I admit, but you're seeing how it's played. Um, so that was our turn. And what I would lastly do on my turn, I will utilize this ritual stone. Use it now. Turn it face down. And we will move the assistant back to the last X space, which is this one here. I believe you can still do it while the detective's on there. I hope so. Uh, if not, someone please tell me. Okay, so no detectives deployed. And we now move to Scholar. The Scholar is gonna go for this one. Uh, it's got a research value of three. So one, two, three. We are getting close to depleting these tiles. Uh, now, our turn again. First thing we do, we flip this guy up and we bring him here. I need to, uh, I need to do this district, but I can't do it. I can't do it. So, I think, is there anything else we can do? No, apart from make this ley line longer. Um... I guess not. Okay, well, let's just move to this tile here because these ones are the, the lowest in number. Uh, and we'll put this one and we'll put him, I think we will put him here. Now, we have to be careful of ritual sites because every time we do a ritual site, uh, the occultists will move into the regions of Hasta, and if there's ever four in there, then we lose the game. Uh, I believe that's correct. Let me just double check. Um, let's just see. Uh, four occultists occupied districts of Hasta, yes. So that is a losing condition for us. So we've done that. We've got nothing to place on there, so we move to detectives. Still no detectives because we're not making any. Uh, progress around the board whatsoever uh so scholar scholar luckily is going to go to this one i we, so we move this ritual site and it's got a research value of four one two three four okay back to our turn again i believe